what are some cool aspects about the Ansoff matrix? Picture the phrase to pick low hanging fruit. Then think of Ansoff. Ansoff cool aspect number one. It makes you think more thoroughly about whether you have fully tapped out market penetration opportunities, the low hanging fruit, before going into other high risk opportunity arenas or quadrants. Number two. It's another way to model out your current product service brand portfolio, just as BCG is a lens through which you see your brands more objectively, Ansoff helps you to look at planned marketing spending before a proposed budget. How much effort and money am I spending on current users before new markets and new users? Ansoff number three could help you see the opportunity hit rate by type in a company. Have we previously had more success with new markets or new products? Why is that? It may be painful to review that, but you can't fix what you don't know is wrong. Number four, historical smarts. You can review the business's past moves and pull lessons from what was done well and not so well. Hey, Pat. You were on the front line when we expanded in the USA with that product line. What do you recall we did rather well? What do you suggest we do differently if we were to try an expansion for one of our current new lines? Any words of wisdom? Caution flags? 